are you from a tricky childhood? No, I. Th- that's why this show. I'm nervous about this show because it's called it's called Blocks, uh-huh. uh, which I. I'm not trying well, to like unearth your family. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, just it's more fine. curious. Yeah. Um. No. No. I've I've come from an extremely privileged. I don't privilege. <laughs> I don't care about. But I'm wondering, like, your dad was just like a right, like a journalist, right? It wasn't like he blue blood. Was it blue bloody? No, he was a he. He was a theater critic, but, right? But he was the theater critic, right? But I'm saying like that theater critic sounds like a job where you make millions of dollars and you're paid <laughs> in rubies or right. something. You just like I hey, wrote for New York Magazine, like it right, wasn't. Right. Yeah. it wasn't like. Ex- I don't know. It never. I I would assume he didn't make that much money. No, I mean not compared to. But I bet I went to very fancy prep schools. Okay. Um. So I went to the high school that Gossip Girl is based on. Beautiful. Yeah. So that's uh, Waldron. Uh, Dalton. Dalton. Yeah. Got it. Waldron's better though. Like Perfect. if we were in if we were Fantastic. in a if we were in a a TV writers room we would punch up Dalton to Waldron. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> um. And did you did you like the kids? Did you uh, feel like you, did you figure it out? I had a sort of strange, should we get into it? Should we get well, into the I, whole well, thing? I, the thing that I, yeah. I I don't like the term, I like I, this thing about privilege and all this shit, yeah. it's, it seems like it's an intentional plan from you. You're like, I shall go to the, you, they just go, go to the school and you go, okay, I'm going to go to the school. Yeah. And then you later on, you find out that they were all, you know, oil bear or whatever. Yeah. It's never... This premeditated, hostile thing of like, I shall be a leader. You're a fucking comedy writer, right? Like, so anyway, did you? What did you think of the of that world? Ah, uh, what did I think of it? There were there were like multiple worlds within the school because there was one world that was literally the richest people in America. Yeah. So they they had their own sort of bubble. They had houses in the Hamptons and yes. and that. And that was a that I had sort of a front row seat to like watch what that was, but yeah, um, but that was they they lived in the kind of they took different classes than we did. Did they really? Yeah, and they um, in the same building. Yeah, they had these sort of easier classes that were designed to allow uh, children of affluence to oh, so uh, uh, continue. Uh, uh, at Harvard, they have something called the Z list. Do you know what the Z list is? No, I have no idea. Um, I can't wait to hear it. Pretty sure Kushner was a Z list kid. So the Z list is um, donors, kids. Yes, yeah. To get on the Z list, I mean, I think you need to donate like particle accelerators. It's not like <laughs> you have to donate equipment. It's yeah, not just it's money. it's yeah promises. You know, yes. uh, uh, ambassadorships. Yep, yeah, exactly. Great. And so uh, yeah, pardons. Uh, but but um, the Z list is like you have a student who um, is so academically inept mm-hmm. that uh, no amount no tutor can help no them. tutor no no um no study drug <laughs> no recommendation from a senator can can mask the fact that this is a, a this dumb, person does not belong here this is a dumb person yes and and uh, to let them in would be uh, just too disgusting even by the standards of of, <laughs> of Harvard this it gives nepotism. It makes nepotism blush. With, exactly. Like, this is it. too much. This is a yes. bridge too far. Like, guys, come on. <laughs> yeah, you picture it's like a you know a, a guy in like a full robe and like a white wig and like a tower at Harvard, just like <laughs> looking at Kushner's transcript, and it's just like I can I cannot I don't stomach know, what do you, this. What, work with me on this. Yeah. yeah so what meet they, me halfway. Exactly. So the halfway is called the Z list, and what they do is um, they concoct a uh, uh, a fake volunteer project. That lasts a year. That is the 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 front, the cover to justify their admission. So, um, as typical Z-list kid, they're a little bit older than you. They have a last name that you've heard of because it matches one of the buildings sure. that you maybe live yep. in, or yep. or the scholarship maybe that you're on. Yep. And uh, they have a great tan because they've spent a year, mm-hmm. you know, uh, in a in a in a southern hemisphere uh-huh. in a location. And uh, fake helping people. And they've been building like wells, and you're like. Oh, and do they get class credit? No, but they write like an essay. Or somebody writes an essay for them about like here's what I learned building these wells, and um, that tricks. I don't know who it's designed to trick. I think it might be designed <laughs> to trick the child themselves. God damn it! That they belong. They're like it's like that bat kid thing. Remember that kid, <laughs> yeah. the terminally ill bat, and they were yeah. like, "You're bat, you're bat." That's what, and that's what. I mean, that's what that is celebrity what, is, and that's what fame and that, wealth are. That's anyway. what class is. That's what wealth is. It's see your bat kid. Everyone is God like, you're a bad kid. And yeah. you're like, oh, I guess I, I am great. I guess I, I thought am. I was yeah. great. 
Yeah. Um, so I knew a lot so of kids that, like that. Does that? This is a separate. This is not in yeah. any way emotional. This is more <laughs> ideological. Yeah. How cynical does seeing that make you? Oh wow! Because I mean, you also saw. Yeah. You also dealt with incredibly intelligent people, like yeah, and, like and, Mike Schur, who right. went to Harvard Lampoon. Yeah. Mike Schur's and created Parks and Rec, good play, like a k fucking k crusher of a writer. Yeah. I once played words with words with friends with him, and he did two words I'd never heard of. <laughs> so there are people that like some of it's nepotism and like fucking rich kid privilege, and some kids just have incredible brains. When you graduate from Harvard and they give you a diploma, there's a slip with those two words in it, <laughs> and they're like, if you ever, if you're ever, you're in, a ever in a situation, yeah. yeah. You um, really need to put the hammer down. Yes. Well, what's interesting? Uh, so yeah, how cynical does it make you? Well, what's or what's it make you think of the world? Well, it, has, it, it doesn't match the world at all because it, it, you know that you're in this sort of alien landscape that has no correlation with society. Because another thing about Harvard is the smartest people there are often the poorest people you've right. ever, you've ever met in your life. Yes, that's what I mean. Like, so you're meeting super brains, and then you're yeah. meeting. And what's the breakdown roughly? It's, well, it, it changes every year. I'm not sure exactly what it is now, um, but you never see you never see either pole because um, the the extremely poor kids are g literal geniuses. Yeah, who are there because they've maybe cured a disease or invented it, like, accidentally a in robot that the yeah. military had to like buy before yes. it could be used yeah. against them. Or, yeah, you know they're they're actually the smartest people on earth. So you don't see them unless you're one of them. Because they're just in labs. They're or in a something? laboratory. Yeah. Like literally trying to cure cancer. Yeah. Um, actively like solving. Not doing a great job. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seriously, like the clock's ticking. Guys. Come on. Yeah. Uh, and then the 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 sort of Z list kids um, belong to these things called final clubs, which are or finals clubs. I don't remember which are secret societies, and they literally have these these plush like clubhouses that you're not allowed into. And they all right. Well, yeah. here's a simple question: Who's running the world? Meaning, yeah, what's because I don't really believe in like the Bilderbergs, and I don't really believe in conspiracy right. theories, yeah. even knowing about fucking finals clubs and all this stuff. Yeah, because they're dumb, so they yeah. can't. They no. might be devious, but they're not intelligent. So yeah, I, I guess I'm like, who's 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 in charge of the Earth? Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, which one is he? He's neither. He was neither at he he's the, he, and I'm not literally yeah. was he in a finals club right. or was he a suit uh, in a lab right? Which is he closer to? Because uh, he's pretty smart. He's a pretty sharp dude. I mean, he created yeah, yeah. a Frankenstein's monster, I, but I, he's somewhere. He's somewhere in the middle, right? I mean, he he had a similar background, I would imagine, as me and many Lampoon writers did, which is to say, like, went to a good high school and uh, probably wasn't considered a genius by the standards of Harvard, but was certainly considered smart. And uh, yeah, he picked he picked the right the right uh, interest in the right field. Yeah. But he, he is the most powerful person um, by far from my generation. Of course. Right? Not even close. Yeah. But so what do you know, having sort of grown up in this and not necessarily of it, but sort of not, you weren't like a scholarship kid. What do you, what do you think? Like, you know what I mean? You know what <laughs> yeah, I'm getting yeah. at? Like yeah, what, because yeah. I want to dispel, I'm always trying to dispel um, conspiracies. And it's like, it's just greed. Right. So do you think he had a devious plan? Oh, do I think Zuckerberg had a devious- Or anyone, any of these people. It's like- Yeah, right. Is there like an actual, like true, um, like, Secret oligarchy at the top, and for lack of a better term, yeah. Um, I would say there, there, there is, but it's not as well organized as people think it is. Right, there aren't like secret handshakes and hats, and yeah, and like private caves and. It's tunnels. just sort of like we'll help each other. Yeah, it's just kind of like a loose, uh, a, a loose affinity that that very powerful people have. He's for one, one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a, a famous thing I, I. I forget where I saw this, but it was like a test to to join the CIA or whatever the proto CIA was, like in the early days of of, of government intelligence. And it was like uh, they were trying to recruit the best and the brightest. And it was twenty questions. And this would have been early Cold War, or maybe even you know earlier. And the first like seven questions required you to know like super advanced trigonometry. And there was a question about like how to diffuse bombs. And there were like four questions that that made sure, of course, that you have perfect mastery of Russian. 
and uh, and and uh, and French. Uh, and then question seventeen is like, when you're playing golf at the Montclair Club, and you're on the ninth hole, which putter ought you to use? Yeah. And if you don't know the answer to that, that's a, you're as... dead, instant fail. Because uh, at the end of the day, you're going to have to blend in to yeah. with among powerful people, and you don't want to be the guy with a sand wedge or whatever. God damn it! That's the other another one like that is there was a. A scholarship, which I don't, I don't know if it exists anymore, but there are all of these scholarships you could win at, at Harvard, which were um, mostly like fill, good, like well-intentioned philanthropic things yeah. to help like geniuses yeah. do their work. So if you were like dirty geniuses, yeah, scrubby <laughs> geniuses, yeah. yeah. So you're a brilliant uh, person, and and y- you you might be awarded uh, a grant to study in, you know. Oxford or whatever, and continue continue your pursuit of some yeah. medical cure, you know. Yeah. Uh, and there was one that um, was just given for years to the most popular rich kid, and uh, it was um, I forget what it was called, but it was just like an all expense paid apartment in I believe Berlin, and and a stipend to throw parties. And the idea behind it was. It's probably a good idea for the future of mankind for like the powerful people in this country to have like old drinking friends with our rival nations. Yeah. And then I go. And you're like, maybe that's a good idea. Because I, yeah, where my head goes is like, we're of the same ilk. And I would probably give you a benefit of some doubt. Sure. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just because, totally. like, ah, I know where he's from. I met him when he was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, right. mutual friends. Like, and there's nothing especially evil about it. It's just human nature. It is human nature. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.